بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویورز ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل اینڈ ان ٹوڈیز ویڈیوز یو کین سی دا ٹاپک اینڈ یو کین سی دا ہیرنگ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ہاؤ ٹو سالو فرسٹ آڈر نان لینئر ڈفرینشیل اکویشنس یو مائٹ بی تھنکنگ وٹ نان لینئر از بٹ دوز ہو ہیو اسٹڈیڈ میتھمیٹکس ویل دا ڈیفینیٹلی دے کین انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ آئی ایم ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ فرسٹ آڈر ہائر ڈگری ڈفرینشیل اکویشنس okay so in the previous videos i have tried to cover exhaustively how to solve first order first degree differential equations through five uh, different methods uh, including method of separating variable homogeneous differential equations linear differential equations exact differential equations and equations reducible to the separating variables reducible to homogeneous form so uh, and bernoulli equations so all those first or uh, all those differential equations were first order and of first degree so we have just done now we have covered all those topics quite quite uh, exhaustively through several examples you can find the link in my calculus playlist easily available on the channel page and also i will just put my uh, put the links in my description box you can easily access the the videos over there as well So here, if I am having first order and higher degree differential equations, how I'm going to solve it and how I'm going to get the solution, which is actually a function that is going to satisfy such kind of equation. So how I'm going to obtain that function, how I'm going to solve uh, such kind of differential equations. So here, there are three ways of solving it out after analyzing the nature of the equation. So the first method that I'm going to discuss in this video is uh, the method of uh, the method of solving through p so what exactly the p is p is actually the first order derivative of a function which is actually a function of one variable so we are just representing f prime x actually with our p in other words you can also say that it is the first order derivative we are just representing it with p so the question might comes in mind that when uh, we are going to use uh, the method of p if you are having a nonlinear first order differential equation and you are able to perform factorization then in that case you are going to adopt this method okay such equations that are easily uh, that can easily be factorized they can be solved through the method of p okay so here in this video we are going to pick up an example and try to solve it out through method of p so let's try to do it okay so this is your equation you can see that p is your dy by dx okay and y is what y is a function of one variable and x is an independent variable here y is the corresponding dependent variable okay y the function we are exactly we have to find out this f of x which is actually the solution of this differential equation how we are going to do it let's try to analyze are we able to factorize this uh, differential equation of first order and degree 2 because for instance i can i can interpret at this equation though i'm not going to solve it out but i'm just interpreting how exactly it looks like if i just put uh, if I just replace my p with my dy by dx because I need to see what exactly the degree is though the though degree is quite apparent quite visible but just for the learners I'm just going to replace my uh, p with dy, dy by dx okay it's it looks something like this and y is your f of x okay so it is your so it is this so you can see entirely in this equation we are using derivative of first order and the highest uh, power that you can observe in this equation is 2 okay so this is first order degree 2 differential equation so indeed this is a nonlinear differential equation so now we just try to see are we able to factorize this equation or not so let me try to uh, uh, rearrange the terms okay so rearrangement uh, might facilitate me in, in factorization so i have just written these so second and fourth term together and the first one and the third one are written like this okay 
first two terms, I cannot take out anything common, so I just write it as it is. Over here, if I just try to observe, you see that it is following the pattern of your basic algebraic identity, which is a squared minus b squared. So I can use the formula from of my basic algebraic identity, which is this, okay? I'm going to use this formula here. So it is going to be therefore xp minus y and xp plus y equals to zero. Now you can see in both these terms, I'm having xp minus y common. So I'm just going to take it out. Okay. And what is going to be left here? In this term, just one is left plus over here, xp plus y is left. All right. So uh, this equation is therefore uh, factorizable and we just obtain the factors of this equation. So once we have succeeded in finding out its factors, we can easily solve this equation through method of P. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I am going to, uh, I have just, uh, uh, it's quite, uh, one can see that um, the product of these two factors is zero. So either, either your first factor could be zero. I just call it equation number one. Or your second factor could be zero or maybe both could be zero okay that's why the product is coming out to be zero so that's it okay so now uh we just try to solve now you can see here we are having two uh, differential equations of first order okay this is the first order as well as first degree differential equations this is now ode once this is an ode therefore you can solve it out through several methods that we have discussed in the previous videos. We are going to decide after analyzing these two equations, which method is the best fit here, okay? Either a method of separating variable or is it a kind of exact or whatever. So now you can, I, I, can, I can just, for your A's, I can interpret these two equations in a conventional form. So you see? This method, this equation can be solved through method of separating variable, okay? It can be, it can be solved very easily. All right, all right, this is it. So let's pick up our first equation and try to solve through method of separating variable because it's permissible. The nature is allow, allowing me to use method of separating variable. So. And I just shift this y over here. Now let us try to swap the differentials and like differentials with the like variable. So it is going to be, I'm just putting this y here. Okay, this will go here and this will go in the denominator. Now I'm going to integrate both sides nicely. So once when I will integrate both sides, I'm not, I'm not writing the statement, but you should do. Okay, so it is going to be, I will use the basic integral formulas, the reciprocal of a variable having power one on it, it actually equals to ln of y plus some constant okay I just call it constant c1 and it is ln x plus some constant c2 all right this is it and ln of y how about if I just put my all my constants at one side I can write like this so two constants on subtraction definitely give me another constant so I just call it c3 for my convenience or I can simply call it C. You can use any notation you want. C. But C is another constant. It could be uh, the log of some kind of other constant. Okay. I'm just interpreting the values in my best means. So 
And that's how it looks like it could be a constant of some other number, right? So now we are going to apply here the basic property of the log, the addition of two different logs is actually equal to the log of the product of these two values. Now if you take anti-log at both sides, then it will get cancelled out. Uh, you can also directly you can cancel out the logs. Just taking a direct step. So x equals to c, c1 times x. Okay, this is going to be one solution and I just call it equation number three. All right, this is it. Now I'm going to pick my second equation. This is also first order, first degree differential equation. And I can solve it out. I can solve this equation too with the method of separating variable. The nature is allowing me to do it. So let's try to solve it out. Now, my equation number two, I'm taking the reference of it page is almost at the end so anyway so I am writing this thing and this positive y positive 1 will go on the other side I can write it like this all right so now we are going to apply the method of separating variables okay so this thing will go in the denominator and dx and x will be shifted here on the at the, at the at the right side so it looks it gives me a form like this all right now we have take the integral at both sides We apply the conventional formulas. Plus some constant, okay. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, at this time I'm not writing the constants on both sides. I write constant just at the, uh, I'm just at one side, representing that it's a subtraction of the constants at both sides, something like this, okay. plus some c and c is the uh, it could be the log of another constant I call it c prime or c double prime or k and you can use any notation you want I can use ln of k okay so it's like this so finally and also you see this is negative sign so you can write it as negative 1 ln of y plus 1 equals to ln of xk now we are going to use here the major formula of ln of xn equals to n times ln of x so we are going to apply this theory here at this side it looks something like this and now I'm going to cancel the logs at both sides directly instead of using anti-log it's a direct step so what is left here is y plus 1 power minus 1 so I can also interpret it like this equals to xk okay it's another equation so also you can uh, you can You can multiply this y plus 1 with this thing. Okay. Or you can also write 1 upon y plus 1 minus xk equals to 0. This is another equation. Okay. I call it equation number 4. Now I'll take the product of this equation and this equation that is said to be the solution of my question equation all right so combining equation 3 and 4 or taking the product of equation or multiplying equations 3 and 4 we are going to get x minus y minus xc prime times 1 upon y plus 1 minus xk. 
to zero. Okay, but this is the solution. This is the solution of this equation. Okay. So all those nonlinear differential equations which are easily that can be factorized only on such equations you are going to use this method okay in the next video we are going to discuss how to uh, solve through uh, method of y okay the equation solvable for y and in third video we are going to learn how to solve equations which are solvable uh, solvable for x okay so i hope uh, this method is much clearer to you Try to solve the equations and try to solve the exercise related to this uh, topic and try to strengthen your concept. Inshallah, in the next video, I'll come with equations solvable for y. Okay? If you find this video helpful, I once again repeat, as I do in all videos, to please subscribe to my channel, hit on the like, and share this video with your friends and other learners and on the social media. And also uh, put your feedbacks in the comment box below. I'll be highly appreciate it and i will be very very grateful to you take good care of yourself and please remember me in your prayers and also you can put your mathematical questions that you need to discuss or the, such problems which you feel uh, they are quite hard for you to solve inshallah we will try to figure out those things too take good care of yourself allah Hafiz.